Hi, it's WolfsDormacastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. That's right, that's my name. Um, this is a uh, video on how to make part one. Excuse me. This is part one of a two-part series of videos on how to make a medieval great helm like this. Yeah. Right. That's a steel forged steel knight's helmet, and it's right now it's only in the rough stage. I've um, got about half the work done on this, and uh, so. You know, it's a lot of fun, pretty interesting. Use sheet steel, put it in the forge. I'll show you all that in this, how to make this, how I went through the template and all that stuff. Um, so that's what this video is. I just wanted to say a couple of things. Um, I, uh, you know, I spent, a, it was a Sunday today and I spent the morning with family and it was really wonderful and I was getting exhausted. But come around, uh, you know, 11 o'clock, I was like, you know, I really should hit the forge. I got a whole lot of forging to do. I really should hit the forge. And I waffled back and forth and I said, you know what? Let's gather up the stuff, let's hit the forge, get, the, get it all going and get some things done. And so I did, you know, so I spent all day long. I'm exhausted. I'm filthy. I got soot all over me. You know, I'm tired. But I felt really good. I spent the day, you know, just forging stuff up. It was really wonderful. I, you know, I worked on that helmet a lot. I had started it earlier a little bit, but I got a lot of work done on that. I got it shaped out. I also worked on um, a push knife. So that's my latest knife project. I'll be posting this video pretty soon. Um, you know, it's a nice little knife. And uh, I just got to finish it, you know, hardened and tempered it today. So I got to do the handle and stuff like that. But that is an upcoming video. It won't be long. It's, it won't take long at all. Um, so this video is part one of how to make a medieval grade helm. You know, a knight's helmet like that. The kind of bucket you put on your head. Um, uh, let's, we'll launch into the intro and then we'll just launch into the how to do it. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks if you're a subscriber. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button wherever it is. You know, always fun and interesting stuff. The Storm the Castle diorama and all kinds of things. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacks, with model boxes, animation. I teach you out of your creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's get to making this project. This, as most blacksmithing projects, I start out with a paper template. And that's poster board, so it has a little bit more strength to it. I actually made a few different ones, trying to get it all shaped right and in simple shapes. I didn't want something too complicated. You know, trying them on till I get the right size, and that's the one. That's the size that we're going to go with. So start out with a paper or um, poster board template. And then we're going to go to 16-gauge sheet steel. That's pretty beefy stuff. It's decent. I take apart that template. Lay it out on the steel, and you can buy that on Amazon.com. You go to the tutorial, web tutorial, I have a link for that if you want it. And then trace it out. So we figured out the shapes we wanted in, you know, in cardboard, uh, excuse me, in poster board, and then we, um, you know, we go to make those in steel. 0 0.06 inches thick. Looks good. Fits just barely on one sheet. So now the top of the helmet has tabs on it so it can be riveted together and I added those tabs afterward using one tab that I made out of poster board so they could stay uniform in shape. And then you know put them around the helmet. I think there's eight of them. And then I go ahead and cut this out. You can use a variety of tools to cut this out. It's great to have a shear like this. See it? Just makes easy work of it. And go easy. This stuff can cut you. And the delicate work, you can do a lot of the delicate work there with the shear. Cut out those tabs. And that's it. So file it all down to, for safety to get all the rough edges and the burrs and the sharp edges as much as you can off of it. So we've got our template, three pieces of paper, and we've got our, now our beginnings of our steel helmet, three pieces of steel. So let's get the forge in this thing. Crank up the forge, light it up, and get it good and hot. Now, I, I, I started this tutorial, I started working on this helmet a while back, a month, two months maybe. I'm finally getting around to working on it some more. So now we're going to, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a crease down the center of the helmet. So it goes backwards. Think of it sort of like a beak or something. And I got a line there on the steel. And I'll show you how I do this. I put it right on the edge of the anvil and then hammer it over. So the edge of the anvil is what causes the crease. I'm just going to bend backwards, kind of like a V. And this is the starting of the shape of the helmet. See? And there's two pieces we do, right? 
Looks good. This is the big piece. So this is like the face piece below the eyes. So it's multiple heatings and multiple times at it to get it right. Then we move on to the eye part. Do the same thing. And you notice that I had chalk on the steel. You know, I originally had marker or sharpie, and of course the heating of it just made that disappear. So the chalk helps, um, stays a little longer, and then you can see that line, and I can bend it over like that. Now an important thing here about a two-part assembly is that they have to be close to matching each other. So as I'm doing this, what I'm going to do is, if I can show you here, and that's multiple heatings too, but I'm going to show you in a second here. You want to compare the two pieces together so they match pretty good, and, so, and that, that's what I did. You can work on it some more, keep matching those V's, see, the beginning of the helmet. Pretty nice. See, now oh, like this, I take it over to the grass and match them, and you can see I still need a little bit more work to do because they don't quite match yet. The angles are different. We're gonna work on it some more. <coughs> That's it for those, for the um, putting the bifurcated line down the middle of the helmet, right straight down the center of the face, right, getting that V shape. Now we're going to curve it. Before we use the edge of the anvil to get that sharp edge, we don't want a sharp edge for the curve, we can't do that. We want it to be nice and rounded, so now we use the horn of the anvil. See? And I'll show you a little bit. I won't show you too much, but you'll get a sense for what's going on here. I curve one side, and then I curve it some more. And the most important thing here is I'm using the top of the helmet as a template. See that red part over there? Still needs to be bent in towards the circle, so that's what I do. Put it on the template, see what needs work, and then bend it. The sheet steel is halfway decent to work with. It's a little awkward. It's not like working on a knife or a sword or something because it's thin. So keep curving it. And here's a quick, I'm going to look at a quick run here, what I was doing. Hammer it a little bit. Check it on the template. Get it to match. <clears throat> hammer it some more. Check it on the template. Heat it up. Check it on the template. Hammer it some more. We do this for both pieces, both the eyepiece here on the top of the helmet and then the, the bottom piece, which is like the mouth guard. See, and I'm just about closing that helmet up. It looks good. I love that red. You know, I'm just about, this part is just about done. We'll close up with an overlap in the back so we can rivet it. See it? See that overlap? Looking right at us. Very nice. I like it. It's rough. We're going to do a lot more work on it. You know, part two, we'll cover all of that stuff to get this thing done. Hopefully part two. I may have to stretch it to three. Sorry. So now let's do the same thing with the bottom part. All right, we use the same template, we get them matched up. You heat it, you hammer it, you check it, you heat it, you hammer it, you check it. You know, it's some work, it's a couple hours of work. And see how now I'm heating towards, more towards the center? It's like working on a sword, you start it at the V, and then you work yourself down a little bit, you heat a little further down, then you heat a little further down, you keep car curving the steel. You know, so I don't know if you remember if, how long you've been with my channel, but I also have a planishing ball there for armor making. And I have a tutorial on how to make that. That's a shot put. And that's to do a little bit of detail work here and a little bit of the curve work. For other types of armor, I'm going to be using that planishing ball a lot more. You know, for the helmet, I don't really need it that much. I just wanted to do a little bit of, there's some kinks and some uneven spots, so I kind of soften them out a little bit and straighten them out. And I had a lot of fun. I just really like this stuff. That's just about it. Look, you can see that's just about done too. So what do you do? You make a paper one, transfer that to steel, then you um, cut it all out. You you put in your V's, your sharp sections in the front, and then you do your curves. And that's what as far as we got. Look, it looks good. It's on top of the template, so I can see how it fits. If it's pretty good, it looks good. And that's that. Another day at the forge, all done. This is where we're at so far. It looks, it's black like that. That's all scale. It's going to come off. We're going to polish this thing. And hey, unless you think you want it to stay black, let me know. Here's some more blacksmithing videos. Chainmail, make a, forge a knife on the top, make chainmail, forge a karamba. And in the upper left-hand corner, coming soon, or if it isn't there already, is part two of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.